Hi everyone, it's Laura with Scrambled Crafty Brain. In a previous video, I used some cork fabric that I received from Home Sewing Depot. This stuff is awesome, let me just say. Uh, and I used the fabric to make these coasters. Aren't those gorgeous? So I'm going to make a couple more of these. And I decided that I wanted this leaf. I wanted it to be burgundy, but I didn't have any burgundy uh, cork fabric on hand. Now, I do know that Home Sewing Depot does carry burgundy cork fabric, so there's a link below to purchase that. But I wanted just enough to make one leaf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this piece right here. And I'm going to experiment and try to dye this piece of cork fabric here to see if I can get like a burgundy-ish color and hopefully it not ruin this uh, cork fabric or like bleed all over everything or anything like that so that it can still be used as a coaster. So that is going to be my experiment for today. I'm going to get these out of the way because I don't want to get... I don't want those to be burgundy, just this piece right here. So what I'm going to attempt to use, I, I wasn't sure what I should use, but I knew I needed to be careful of the type of coloring that I use because this will have inevitably a glass or a cup sitting on it and you know there could be condensation or there could be um, a spill or whatever and so I wanted to make sure that whatever I put on here is not that the dye or ink or whatever does not come off onto the cup or the glass or your fingers or anything like that um, so I am purposely picking um, a dye that I know is not water soluble which is India ink so I'm gonna use this um, Bombay cherry red India ink uh, just to let you know, I did try a um, alcohol marker on a little scrap of this cork fabric, which worked great. There's going to be a little video on that coming soon. But uh, yeah, the alcohol marker worked great. I just didn't want to do this entire piece and have the lines of the alcohol from the marker. Yeah. I didn't want to do it that way. I suppose you could though if you had a small enough piece that would that would work great. So I'm going to try this Bombay um, India ink. The color is cherry red. It's supposed to be waterproof. So hopefully once it's all set and dried and everything it won't leave red marks all over your cup or glass or whatever. Anyway so I was curious about how to do that so we're going to try that out. So I have my Bombay ink here. I also have a big, well, not a big, but a wider brush here. It is one that I use for messy types of crafts. So I don't really care if, if this dyes the bristles or anything like that, or if my brush gets messed up. It's a cheap brush. Uh, it's from Craftsmart. So, you know, it didn't cost me a whole lot of money, so I'm okay if it gets stained or whatever. So I have a brush. I have my piece of cork here. I also have gloves so that I'm not staining my fingers while I'm doing this. And then this whole area, I know it looks kind of weird. This is press and seal. I put it on top of my mat here so that hopefully it protects my mat from any drips or spills or anything like that from the India ink. All right, so let's give this a try. Let me get my gloves on. If I can. There we go. All right. That was a little tricky. So I'm going to shake this up. Another thing that I think I'm going to need is I am probably going to need a dish to put some of this in because this is just a dropper and I'm afraid that if I drop color on here and then try to spread it it's going to have the circles from where the drops were. So let me find a uh, dish to put this in. Okay so I just have this little plastic dish 
um, that's usually meant for like condiments and stuff like that. Uh, we use them in our kiddos lunches uh, whenever she wants like ranch dressing or whatever. So, stole one of those. Let me put some ink in here. Oh, that's such a pretty color. So I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm going to be kind of generous here. Although, I don't know. Let's see how this goes. Oh, look at how pretty that is. It is so pretty. Is a little bit more than I wanted to be on there. All right. All right, there we go. All right, I'm going to use a paper towel here to kind of soak some of this up because I would love it if you could still see a little bit of that cork. Like the natural color of the cork. See, oh, there we go. See, you can get some of that natural color out of it. Oh, that's awesome. That's a cool texture. That's really cool. That's good to know for mixed media. Kind of wipe some of this up a little bit. All right, that looks really good. I really, really like how that's turning out. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, this should be pretty close to dry here pretty pretty quickly, um, but I'm, I'm gonna let this sit overnight. And um, I have, because there's two pieces of, uh, cork needed to make the leaf I'm gonna go ahead and do another one of these and I'm, I'm gonna let them dry overnight and we'll check to see how they do so I'll be back in just a bit okay so here is how those turned out I let them dry overnight which they really didn't need to it, it was dry almost immediately but I just wanted to make sure that it was fully dry and fully set and so this is how it turned out. I love the black specks and the brown specks that show up. I think that is just so cool. So what I'm curious about, since this is going to be a coaster, is how it will deal with moisture. I know from the previous video that the cork fabric on its own can deal with moisture just fine. What I'm curious about is the ink that I've put on here. Now it does say that this ink is waterproof. So I just wanna test that real quick and make sure. So what I'm gonna do is I have a paper towel here and some water. So I'm just going to spray the paper towel and get it all nice and wet here. There we go. To imagine that maybe some droplets or whatever sprinkled on there or a glass with condensation or whatever. And so I'm just gonna go like this and nope nothing i think that's pretty awesome that did really 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 well so yes to uh being waterproof that's awesome so what i'm going to do is i am going to take these two pieces and i'm going to embroider the leaf on here and we'll see how it looks i'll be back after i get that done okay so here's how it turned out doesn't that look awesome I love it so much. So, okay, the, it looks like the India ink did really, really well for dyeing the cork fabric. And the cork fabric held up surprisingly well. So I'm, I'm super impressed and I'm really excited that this experiment worked. Now, I would not suggest doing this if you needed a larger piece. Uh, that could get quite expensive because, you know, this ink is not cheap. 
but you know if you just needed a small piece like this then this works well if you need a larger piece i suggest going over to home sewing depot because they do have a variety of colors uh so it'd be probably more cost effective and more time effective just to run over there and get yourself the size that you need um so yeah but yeah for a small tiny little piece this worked great so I'd like to thank Home Sewing Depot for the cork fabric. I am loving it and I'm having lots of fun experimenting with it and trying new things with it. So thank you very much. Uh, links to the Home Sewing Depot and for this uh, cork fabric are in the description below as well as links for all of the other supplies that I use uh, in this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this little experiment. Leave me a comment below or you could head over to uh, Facebook or Instagram. Just look for Scrambled Crafty Brain and let me know what you think of this experiment. And as always, if you like this video, please hit subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you get to know when, so that you get notified when I upload a new video. And so you'll get to see all of my fun little experiments and the things that I do. And uh, if you are interested in any of the products that Scrambled Crafty Brain sells, head on over to scrambledcraftybrain.com. And if you'd like to see any of the behind the scenes or any of the current projects that I'm working on, I do have super secret content over on Patreon. So on all of these different apps and everything, all you have to do is look for Scrambled Crafty Brain and you'll find me. Thank you guys so much. Bye.